Good morning everyone. Welcome to this time of worship for Sunday the 16th of May. My name is Karen Harbison and I'm the minister at Westburn Parish Church in Greenock. I'd like to thank you for allowing me to join you in your homes or wherever you are today as we come together to worship God. Notices about various things that are happening in our congregation and community and resources for um, prayer and as we make our way towards the General Assembly and to the season of Pentecost are all available on our church website and Facebook page and you're invited just to have a wee look at that during the week and to join us on the Connect Facebook page tonight for our time of evening prayer, which is at 7 p.m. This Sunday, um, we include in our time of worship a focus on Christian Aid Week, which is coming to an end. There are details about how you can donate to Christian Aid Week on our Facebook page and website, and also you can go direct to Christian Aid's website and make donations there and there are loads of other resources and information for you on those um, sites as well. So please do take uh, a moment or two to look at the Christian Aid website um, over the next day or two. Today we focus on the theme of praying for others and we link to the work of Christian Aid. Are you searching for God, but do not know where to look? Don't worry, God knows where you are. Are you searching for faith, but do not know what to believe? Don't worry, you are not alone. Would you love to be able to sing, but do not have the voice for it? Don't worry, the angels are already singing. Would you love to be able to pray, but cannot find the words? Don't worry, Christ is praying for you. So let us come together in prayer. Let us pray. Risen Lord Jesus, who prays for us, may we know ourselves today surrounded by prayer. As we step into line with all who follow you, may we know ourselves as part of that great company of saints who have kept the Christ-like burning all through the ages. Forgive us, Lord, when we allow the light to dim. Forgive us when we allow the soot to build up and the lamp to become foggy. Help us to draw near to you so that our light may shine brightly again and so that we can share your light in the world. Light of the world, go before us in all things and compel us to follow in your wake so that in your risen power we can light up the world with love. And may our worship remind us of who we are and confirm your spirit and your power in us as we serve you in our daily lives, always for your glory. And hear us as we join together to pray in the words you taught your disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Today we continue to read from John's Gospel and we hear Jesus' words too and Jesus' prayer for his followers. We read from John chapter 17 beginning at verse 9. Let us hear the word of God. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those you gave me, for they belong to you, and all I have is yours, 
and all you have is mine, and my glory is shown through them. And now I am coming to you, O Father. I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. Holy Father, keep them safe by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one, just as you and I are one. While I was with you, I kept them safe by the power of your name, the name you gave me. I protected them and not one of them was lost, except the man who was bound to be lost, so that the scripture might come true. And now I am coming to you, and I say these things in the world, so that they might have my joy in their hearts, in all its fullness. I gave them your message, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but I do ask you to keep them safe from the evil one. Just as I do not belong to the world, they do not belong to the world. Dedicate them to yourself by means of the truth. Your word is truth. I sent them into the world, just as you sent me into the world. And for their sake, I dedicate myself to you in order that they too may be truly dedicated to you. I pray not only for them, but also for those who believe in me because of their message. I pray that they may all be one Father, May they be in us, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they be one, so that the world believe, will believe that you sent me. I gave them the same glory you gave me, so that they may be one, just as you and I are one. I in them and you in me, so that they may be completely one, in order that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them as you love me. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God within us, and the word of God among us. Thanks be to God. Amen. Just before his arrest, in the last moments he had with the disciples, after all the words and encouragements and explanations to them, Jesus did what he thought of as most important at that time. Jesus prayed for his followers. Jesus prayed for those he named as his friends, for those he had travelled with, for those he had shared time and stories with, hopes and trials and tears and laughter, all these things he had shared with his disciples. And he prayed for them, for those who would continue to bear his light and share his message in days and times to come, for those who would continue to be in the world when he was not. He prayed that they would have his joy in their hearts and be enabled to live his way of love, a way not of the world, but which the world would continue to so need. He prayed not that they should be taken out of or be apart from the world, but that, they, but that they would not belong to it, be swallowed up by the world's priorities, but would be sent into the world as the ones bearing his light and sharing his message so that all people could thrive and flourish and grow in love, caring for their sisters and brothers. Jesus calls us to be his followers, names us as his friends, travels with us through our lives, shares our hopes and trials, tears and laughter, and he prays for us who bear his light and share his message in our time and place. Jesus prays that we might have his joy in our hearts and be enabled to live his way of love, a way not of the world, but a way the world continues to need. The experiences of our own lives and the experiences of our neighbours near and far, especially over these last 15 months, show us that compassion, kindness, hope, 
justice, walking alongside others in all sorts of ways and in all sorts of situations is needed more than ever. We are not apart from the world, but sent out into the world so that Christ's love may be known and God's kingdom come. May it be so among us. Amen. This Christian Aid Week, we remember our sisters and brothers in countries and places very different from ours. We remember their stories and we remember that the climate crisis and the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic is causing great problems for people living without access to, to clean water, to health care and to sanitation. We remember the stories of people like Rose and Florence and we bring our prayers for others with them particularly in mind today. Our prayer for others is taken from the worship resources that have been designed by Christian Aid for this Christian Aid Week. And we remember the words of the prophet Micah. What shall I bring to the Lord, the God of heaven, when I come to worship him? Shall I bring the best calves to burn as offerings to him? Will the Lord be pleased if I bring him thousands of sheep or endless streams of olive oil? Shall I offer him my firstborn child to pay for my sins? No, the Lord has told us what is good. What he requires of us is this to do what is just, to show constant love and to live in humble fellowship with our God. So let us pray. God of abundant life, we see your goodness all around us and we thank you for every part of it. From the plants and animals which play their part in complex ecosystems, to the dry deserts and stormy seas, which test the limits of life. We pray that in this time of climate crisis and ecological emergency, you may help us to rediscover your love of creation and to reflect that in our own lives. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, who speaks through unexpected people, we thank you for contemporary prophets who are challenging us to act on climate change. For indigenous people and their invaluable knowledge of land and sea where they live. For scientists dedicating their careers to warning us about changes to the planet. And for young people striking for their future. We pray that you will help those in power to hear their prophetic voices, help them to see beyond short-term political priorities and business plans, and give them wisdom and courage when they face difficult decisions. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of second chances, we recognise the damage we have done to the earth and the injustice we see in society every day. Much of it fueled by worship of profit and possessions. We pray for the coming of a better world with justice, kindness and humility at its heart. We ask that you guide us to be co-creators of this new world. Give us confidence to follow prophetic voices of old and of today to stand against injustice to people and to planet so that together in your strength we make a difference. God in your mercy hear our prayer. God who calls us all beloved and unites us with our sisters and brothers we pray for Christian Aid's partner agencies and all those being helped and enabled by Christian Aid, that they might not just survive, but rather thrive and flourish. We pray for the people and places 
where COVID-19 is having the worst impact at this time. We pray for Christian aid staff workers, volunteers and supporters that all may feel they are contributing to the work of your kingdom. We pray for those we know and love closer to home and especially those who are ill or anxious or grieving. God, in your mercy, hear these and all our prayers. Amen. To help us in our praying and to encourage us to keep on praying through this week, we hear the music of O oh Lord, Hear My Prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Come and listen to me. Jesus and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us go into the world to share that love and joy with all whom we meet and as we do may the blessing of God Almighty, God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest and dwell with us all today, tomorrow and always. Amen.